Okay, guys, let's review the main Flutter Flow page. As you see, uh, the first thing we have little menu here, projects, my marketplace, my organization, resources. Uh, you have your profile information, pricing plans, and you can log out here. So uh, also here you have two buttons that you can switch light and dark mode. Uh, a search field you can find you can type the name of your project and you can easily find it and finally create a new project button so uh, here we have a list of projects that you see that these are not mine these are projects of my students so I can easily just click on click on it and drop in the main interface and uh, edit the project that I I have in my in my window here. Uh, next thing is marketplace. It's in beta. So what is marketplace for? Uh, some nice guys already did some components for for Flutter Flow for free. Uh, for example, you can use this interesting nav bar here and just click on it, add to project, and you will be able to use it in your project. Uh, also, as you see, we have several tabs here. So, uh, template applications, pages and components, and even custom code uh, things you can add to your project. Here we have two sub pages, nothing really special, special created items, the item that uh, you've created previously used items that you used in your project before. My organization, that's interesting thing for companies. Uh, you can share it with your team. Uh, anything you need, custom code, media assets, team design library, for example. If you have several developers that working in one project, you can share uh, with them some code that they can use during their work. Uh, resources, really interesting thing, here is all the links uh, for all, uh, all basically resources that you can learn something about Flutter Flow, documentation, help center, app tutorials, YouTube tutorials, etc, etc, etc. You can find here even Mac desktop application, so if you, if you are using Mac, you can just download the application, install it, and use Flutterflow as uh, application. So here you see a little container, Flutterflow Wrap 2022. Uh, if you click on it, you will see all very interesting information from your account, how much hours you spent using Flutterflow last year, um, something like that. Uh, let's drop in profile settings. So here you have your profile information. You can change your pricing plan, billing plan. Uh, you can use ref referral link and then after that maybe even um, make some money for that when your referee uh, will use um, paid account. Uh, Pricing plans, nothing special. We reviewed it in one of the videos, so I'll not stop here. So that's basically everything that you can know about this page. Also, we have some menu here, duplicate project and leave project. So, uh, for example, this is the project of my students. I can leave it, so I will not be able to see it here and I can duplicate project, just make complete copy of the project from this menu. This is it. Don't miss a single video. Stay tuned.